Do you know that good moods when you have been working on one of your best creations? You forgot time, you forgot to eat, to drink, you forgot yourself. And then suddenly it was time to leave. You couldn't wait till the moment to finish this masterpiece. And finally the moment is there, but then doubts, useless thoughts run through your head. So maybe this is not the right moment to do this. The last time when you were working on this masterpiece, it felt so different. Everything went by itself. Actually, you didn't have to do anything. Well, this state of being was made by just starting and being aware of what's happening in that moment. That moment is gone, so you don't have to look for it anymore. But you could continue in today's new moment. It has nothing to do with time or with a moment. It has to do with the opportunity to lose yourself into a creating process. I always start immediately. So the thinking process didn't get any chance to get between me and the painting. I hear that voice murmuring, you do it wrong, you are not good enough yet. But this voice never made any sense, so I don't listen to it and watch again what's happening on the paper, forgetting yesterday and listening to what the painting tells me to do. It's nothing else than tuning into a state of being to receive the information you need. You don't have to wait for a moment that's telling you to start. It's you who can decide. And from that moment you open your mind to what's coming and what you have to do. Of course there is the fear to break it. You will break it or make it. But if this question makes really sense, you are thinking in results, in material objects. So actually you say this art piece must succeed and the only one who must be able to do this is me. That's too heavy. You won't arrive to that deeper layer then. You don't have to think in art pieces. You will only have to be aware of what you see, feel, hear and smell and what you are doing with this information. If you work there will be bad and good artworks or good and maybe better art. So saying when the time is right I will doesn't make any sense. That time will never come. Time isn't able to decide what to do. So the best part of the painting has begun for me. I always wait uh, quite a while with that moment to paint the harder, crispy reflections in the watercolor. Um, maybe because for me that's absolutely the dessert of the, of the dinner. And uh, before I do that I have to know that I served really a, a, a good dinner. So I had to check out a few things. The reflections of the shadows weren't really good. I saw that uh, last week before I left. Um, they were too hard as well. Now they are a bit too soft. I see that now because this is quite different than this shadow. There, there can be a difference because it was a, a bit um, foggy that day. And uh, this tree is, is further away than this tree, so it, it can be a bit softer, but th this contrast is too much. Um, maybe I make this shadow a bit softer. 
But the crispy light is the best part now because that brings life and depth in this watercolor. And um, yeah, you could do it immediately as well, but I'm afraid I forget the disturbing parts in a watercolor then because I'm so captured by light that I only watching at light and shadows then. There are also uh, certain kinds of light that you paint immediately. Of course you start with the shadows and when you paint shadows you paint light as well because the brighter parts that stay open are shining. And um, sometimes there's a possibility to paint light by let a small shape open. Actually that's the brightest results when you can leave it open somewhere so you even see a, a piece of, of the paper, a part of the paper. Um, but I only do that when it's possible to do it in a in one flow, in, in the same handwriting as the whole painting. Because when you start working slower somewhere to paint, to, to, to leave shapes open uh, in a slower handwriting than other parts, these are always disturbing parts in a painting.
Je hebt die tilt en shift lenzen, ik weet niet of je die kent. Dat is van gehoord, ja.
when you watch these videos, uh, I think it looks like everything comes easy and I'm every day in this meditative mood. And that's partly true. But I must admit, after 25 years of daily painting, that there is a daily distraction. Distraction by useless thoughts and doubts. Um, and I think the goal is to separate these thoughts from the useful thoughts. Because when you create, you are totally wide open. So everything can come in. Useful things, helpful things, and discouraging things as well. Um, just give them a name and let them go and move on. Um, if you're looking for something without any distraction, I think then you should do something else. Watching television, I think that's possible without any distraction. But creating means uh, that you deal with with a certain resistance too, I guess. And um, and personally, for me, it's easier to deal with the distraction made by myself than deal with distraction made by others. And um, that's one of the several reasons why I really love this job here on my own. Um, I hope it was helpful and uh, thank you for watching and see you next week.